and over the curb. Super good reason for a stop. When's the last time you smoked any marijuana? We're gonna check out episodes 17 and 18. 17 is one of my favorites because it's got Deputy Schmidlin in it for the first time. Um, 18, it has a guy giving me a crazy story. So we're gonna check those out now. This morning? This morning? I can smell it. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's okay. I was just uh, dropping on my little sister. I already you know knew. The other reason I stopped you? Me and me and this kid, curve? we're gonna have a talk. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It's a curve. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's it. I think it's that you just drove over the curb. Yeah. My bad. I, it happens, man. Yeah. All right. So how old are you? I'm 18. 18. 18. How much weed can you smoke when you're 18? Uh, uh, none. Uh, none. That's right. The right. Do you have a card? No. Okay. So you can't smoke any weed, right? You certainly can't smoke and drive, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have any weed in your bag there? Because it sure smells like marijuana in here. No. No? You don't That's have any That's a lie. In there? Are you sure? He lied to me. Because your face says that you're lying to me. No, I just have a little bit right here. Okay, so you have a little bit right here. Yeah. So when I said that you, do you have any marijuana in your car, you said no. And then I said, no, I smell it. And you're like, well, there's some right here. So your initial answer should have just been, yes, I have weed and I know I shouldn't, right? Okay, so all of those are true, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. I just wanted to make sure. Wow, this thing actually says I'm a, I'm grinder, because it's a grinder. I like it. I like your sense of humor there. All right. Um, you have any other sort of drug paraphernalia in here? You have like a pipe or, like, what do you smoke this stuff out of? Oh, there's a pipe. There we go. Kind of had a feeling there might have been that in there also. For a so now that looks pretty fresh, freshly burned. That's this morning. All right. About what time this morning? What's that? 889, somewhere in there? Okay. He's high. I mean, he is definitely high. Hi, partner. It's Schmidlin. Ooh. Ooh, I smell the fragrant <laughs> odor of cannabis as I walk up to the car. <laughs> I smelled it as I walked I up. Him. My goodness. So he's 18. Um, he can't have marijuana. He has marijuana. He smoked marijuana. And then he drove over the curb. <laughs> Little background about Deputy Schmidlin is we've been friends for over 20 years. Um, we started very early on in our career in the same agency, both left that agency and came back together in the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. Um, he has, he's my friend on duty, he's my friend off duty. Um, he has since promoted and is now Sergeant Schmidlin. Um, but at the time, this is his first of several cameos on Fridays with Frank, and he is, uh, he's a drug recognition expert instructor like I am. Um, he's a subject matter expert in impairment like I am, so our, our careers have certainly paralleled, um, and he's a great DUI cop. Uh, he, is, he is great at what he does, and um, being two of the older guys on the squad, we always hung out together. Um, and backed each other up frequently, especially during DUI stops. So he displayed impairment while he was driving. I, I, I'm shocked and awed. That, a little bit of that. I'm going to have you tilt your head back like you're looking up at the sky. Schmidlin's focus. Rocks. Those are Kanye shoes. He couldn't even take Kanye his eyes shoes? off them. Yes, sir. You're rocking Kanye shoes. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's Thank awesome. See, man, we're cool. We're hip. Would you feel more comfortable if you took your Kanye shoes off and walked I in your bare feet? Or would you it. like to walk in your Kanye shoes? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, whichever you want. There we go. So just like this, left foot, right foot. Put your Kanye, Kanye shoes back on there. We like those. I, I have to say so it. listen, this is what's your first name? So listen, this is what the deal is. Right now, in the position that you're in is perfect. I want you to stay just like that, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come behind you like this. And I'll place you under arrest for driving under the influence of the marijuana that you smoked earlier today, okay? Ah, see so your face says this is your weed. Oh no. Yeah. It's, it's that's your weed. Okay. Okay, lots of candy in here. Somebody in trouble. Also lots of marijuana. Lots and lots of marijuana. All sorts of marijuana. That's a lot of marijuana. He's allowed to have zero grams. That's more than and that zero. is more than zero grams of marijuana. Oh well. This is middle of the day in Santan Valley. Sam follows the analytics on the videos that we put out and this one didn't perform as well as we thought it would. Uh, I thought it had great, it had great car driving over the curb. It had Schmidlin, which should automatically make it great because he's in there. Um, that we had drugs. We had all sorts. We had everything that should make a good video. And uh, for whatever reason, this just didn't perform as well as I thought it should because 
I mean, I said Kanye shoes like 10 times. I mean, it should perform well. Uh, this is, I think the stop was at 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, you know, it's not a holiday weekend. It's not, uh, uh, you know, it's not 2 o'clock in the morning. This is in the middle of the day where there's drug impaired drivers on the roadways with our families. Um, and that's what the traffic unit does is they go out there and look for these drivers and try to get them off the road before they, they cause a collision, before they hit someone and hurt them. So the speed limit out on Gary Road is posted as 35, and in oh, front... I didn't even know, because my, my dad just... Oh, that's my bad. I, I go to college in Bismarck. Okay. Uh, I'm out here visiting my dad. Or, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure the speed limit signs look the same there. Kind of a white do. sign, yeah, yeah, black yeah. numbers, sure. big, like big. Right. Past me on the right at 61, posted speed limit here is 45. Really? Oh, 61. Locked in on radar. So he's been stopped in 2021. One, two, three... Four, five, five times, and had was a subject in a non-injury accident, um, all in 2021. Wow! So he is a habitual bed traffic violator. So he is 100% going to get a ticket today. Two out of these stops that are on this video wouldn't have even made the video because they weren't really noteworthy, except for the fact that that person had been stopped recently by Pinal County and then is now stopped again by me. Um, so just to show that this pattern of habitual offender um, leads people to get tickets, where I give way more breaks to people who have never had a ticket before. But if you've been stopped in the last year, especially in the last year or last six months, and I stop you again, you're getting a ticket. Your citations for 16 over for speaker and the musical improvement which is 16 over is way less than 38 over, which is what my partner got you for the last time you got stopped up on Ironwood. Um, so at least you're, you're getting closer to the speed limit as we go. The reason I stopped you is for traveling a criminal amount of speed Whoa. on Gansel. I locked you. Driving a criminal. You were driving a criminal. Yep. I locked you in at 83 miles an hour. Posted speed limit is 45. Wow. Oh, you were at 83. These videos that we're watching now, I probably haven't watched them in almost two years. Um, these are all happening in 2022 or in 2024 now. So I'm re-watching these. It's like watching them for the first time. Um, so that, those particular stops that were in there, um, I remember that guy passing me on the right at 83 miles an hour and that whole ridiculous conversation that we had about, hey, I knew you were the cops, but I passed you anyway. And how dumbfounded I was on the day that that happened is exactly how dumbfounded I am right now. Um, I just, I don't, I don't see the logic in that. And, uh, I think people just try to talk to get out of, of a ticket. Um, and it certainly didn't work for that guy. I, I seen you the whole time in the blue charge. I knew that was, that was a police. He had the big antenna on the back of all that. Okay. I that you, bro. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how to interpret that. I don't know how to interpret that in that because you're just was, disrespectful no, and that you knew I'm no, a cop and you're at a criminal amount of speed. No, I wasn't doing that. What I'm saying is. When I was trying to get around this car, the, the car, the blue car right there was driving slow as hell. I was trying to get around them. Like, you know why they were driving yeah. slow? Huh? You know why they were driving slow? Because they were going driving at the speed limit. limit. I wasn't going yeah. Speed, you're locked in on my radar at 83. And you are the fastest car that I've seen on Gansel Road today. Any reason for your near criminal amount of speed? No, I'm just trying to get home. Just trying to get home? Right now they're doing the install for the cabinets. Oh, it's very lucky for you. She was written a ticket on May 11th. So less than a month ago, and on that time, she was almost 30 miles an hour of the speed limit, and now she's 32 miles an hour of the speed limit, so uh, no warnings. So I noticed that you also had the opportunity to meet one of my friends, another member of the Pinal County Sheriff's Office, less than one month ago. So I feel like your problem is not that you're having cabinets delivered, it's that you drive really fast. So. So here's yet another catalyst for you to drive slower because now you can't go to traffic school for this one. So this one, you're just gonna have to, you have to accept responsibility for it. This is just like the other one. So if you get another citation like this, you could trade all three citations in for a bicycle because we're gonna suspend your license and then you're not gonna be able to drive. That was episode 17 and 18. Um, next up is episode 19. It's a fan favorite, it's got another uh, appearance by Schmidlin and it's got a great backstory uh, that we didn't put on the internet.